We have a COVID-19 testing mandate within the 1776 restoration movement and oh so much more to talk about today. So of course this went a little viral. Someone said, hey, there's a gang walking around the Capitol and they zoom in on some old women, you know, instead of the Proud Boys or the January 6th members involved. And 1776 restoration movement was like, you know, come on, patriots, come on. It's Twitter, it's public. People immediately brought up, you know, the type of people in their group. And guess who shows up to defend them? Golden Chariot. And it does not go well. It went so badly that people were talking about it on the Telegram. Speaking of the Telegram, they've started to receive troll packages with Black Lives Matter flags, Black Lives Matter shirt. I think there's an Antifa flag, maybe a book trolling them. It says like someone talked or whatever. Saw that earlier today. Thought I'd throw that in. It's a little funny. Weird talk, a lot of goalposts moving today. Uh, October is coming soon, then we will all know the master plan. You know, the conspiracies just kind of build upon each other. They're just a conspiracy group at the end of the day. Um, Sandy did the nightly meeting. They had their uh, meeting with the possible permit. Uh, he looked at a different location than where they're currently staying. Um, something about possibly a permit at the location they're at on the 29th, they have to move. Um, they don't know if they're going to get the permit. Uh, he, they asked him about the big trucks. Why do you want the big trucks? What do they have to do with your movement? Santa didn't really answer, at least from the way he worded it, and just said, well, they've been here since the beginning. Apparently, he still can't let go of the fact that they're not a people's convoy. They're not a trucker convoy. They are a bunch of cultists sitting on the National Mall. Uh, they also want to add more flags, more professional-looking banners and things to the cars. Talked about... No lawn chairs on the mall. Yes, holding the lawn might officially be done. Uh, they were talking about that earlier. Um, Stormtrooper mentioned it. A lot of the people in the Telegram were like, no, that's not the case. And then Santa mentioned it again tonight. So it does sound like they might be off the lawn, might be on the gravel. And they were talking about maybe going to the other side of the street on that sidewalk and also handing out flyers. They're trying to limit how many they hand out now because, you know, it's costing them quite a bit of money and or when they're donated it costs a lot of money for whoever donated it and they're just giving them away to everyone now at the end of the meeting when santa's kind of wrapping up a guy walked over and he he leaned over the bench and goes first responders sick crystal's sick i've got a sore throat that is killing me and santa's response was to stand up and tell him to get away also told him he has to go get a COVID test. He has to go get tested for COVID-19 because now that he's done that on a, on a live stream, people will now wonder, do they have a COVID outbreak in their group? Which already was a question after first responder started listing off his symptoms, but uh, they weren't going to do it. But now because it was on a live stream, they're telling him to do it. I guess mandates are sometimes needed. Santa also weirdly was like defending the rules of the park that he's been against. He's like, oh wow, the rules for the public good actually matter when they're explained. But I guarantee that if more federal rules like that were explained to him for other things that he's currently against because, you know, bring back the constitution or whatever they're complaining about now, list of grievances, he wouldn't understand. They don't understand the idea of the public good. It's all about me, 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 me. Please donate to the Cash App. 